Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Insolvent Scott Selections here for Friday, September 30th. For again, today's play of the day, quick recap of what happened yesterday. What a nice winner in baseball with the Rangers and Mariners over seven runs at minus 110 on bet MGM. I still have no idea why the total was seven with Gray pitching against Gonzalez, and it didn't really matter. It flew over the total. The over actually cashed in the third inning. Game went to extras that eventually landed 19. So never in doubt, rocking chair winner. Look for another winner here on Friday. And for today's play of the day, going back to baseball, look at a game between the Pirates and the Cardinals taking place at around 8.15 p.m. Eastern time. And for this matchup, we'll get team total in this one. We'll like the Pirates, team total over two and a half runs and minus 130 on bet MGM. Time recording of 1.30 a.m. Eastern time. Cumberton's why I like the team total over here for Pittsburgh. First reason, shopping around minus 130 is a great price. You can find the same team total at minus 145 on DraftKings. And FanDuel has the Pirates team total at three. So you're saving half a run for just 30 extra cents of juice, give or take. Or you're also saving about 15 cents just by shopping around compared to the price of DraftKings. But BetMGM definitely underpriced this team total, and it definitely should go up. I'm going to take it now before it ends up moving. But to go through the recent form of Pittsburgh's offense, it has actually been decent as the Pirates have scored at least three runs in each of their last six games. Meanwhile, St. Louis's pitching has really not been that good lately as the Cardinals have allowed at least four runs in three of their last four games. Plus, you wonder about motivation, particularly with the manager and how he might end up using the bullpen because the Cardinals have nothing to play for for the rest of the regular season. They clinch the NL Central. They are not catching the Braves or the Dodgers. So they really have nothing to play for for the last couple of games of the season. And I do wonder if the Cardinals will potentially try to rest some of the veterans, maybe even the bullpen guys, to keep them healthy for the postseason push. And maybe you might see a couple of youngsters get some spots that maybe they don't deserve to get, and they might get shelled in the bullpen. But to go through the actual starters for this matchup, or the starter that matters for this game, you have Flaherty pitching for the Cardinals. And even though he was good in years past, he had a couple of injuries recently, and he really has not been good all season long. And it seems like the odds makers still think that he's the pitcher he used to be instead of the pitcher that he is now. And I'm going to fade him once again. His last three starts, 16 innings pitched, a lot of base runners, 17 hits allowed, 10 walks allowed. I believe he also hit two batters. So don't quote me on that. But for the hits and walks, it means he's allowed 27 hits or walks in 16 innings. And he has a 5.63 ERA. In other words, his command is all over the place, and he allows a lot of guys to get on base. And Flaherty's also faced off against the Pirates twice this season. Eight innings pitched, 10 hits allowed, six walks allowed, and a 6.75 ERA. So he's been getting shelled recently, and Pittsburgh shelled him. And they did face him earlier uh, a couple weeks ago, and they ended up scoring three runs. So I do think that this team total for Flaherty is extremely low considering the fact that the Pirates are guaranteed nine at-bats since this is a road game. But to go through some overall trends in the head-to-head, the Pirates have actually done decently against St. Louis' pitching this season as the Pirates have scored at least three runs in nine of their last 11 games. But I'm not picking the Pirates to win the game outright. They could, but I'm not going to bother. Oviedo's pitching for the Pirates. I don't exactly trust them. But Flaherty, with a team total of two and a half based on how awful he's been, for the last couple outings and how bad he's been against Pittsburgh. I think two and a half is a joke, and I do think Pittsburgh should probably get the three in the first five, six innings. But even if they don't, you could see a couple of unproven pitchers in the bullpen for St. Louis who might get shelled. But two and a half for a guaranteed nine of bats against a questionable starting pitcher, I think is a great deal, and I'm going to take the overs. Play that once again here for Friday, September 30th. is going to be on the Pirates team total over two and a half runs at minus 130 on bet MGM. Bye, everyone.